Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shiv if we haven't e-met before and if you're coming back then welcome. In today's video we are joined by a very neat bun. <laughs> Just kidding. I am doing a five back to school hairstyles for when you're feeling super lazy but you want to look somewhat put together. So if you would like to see how I created these five hairstyles then please carry on watching and I shall show you. But before you do please subscribe it's completely free. The red button below this video go on press it press it if you haven't already and if you have I love you. Let's just enjoy this video and I shall show you some fun easy hairstyles that you can do when you haven't even washed your hair or if you're just feeling super lazy. Cue the video. First hairstyle we're gonna do is kind of like a two plait under the hair situation. So you can definitely do this with a kind of like greasy-ish hair or second day third day hair. So what I'm gonna do is just put my hair, should I put my hair in middle parting? No. I'm not gonna put my hair in middle parting but you definitely could if you wanted to. So I've just brushed my hair through to make sure there's no knots and tangles. And then what I'm going to do is just get some hair ties ready. So I've got two hair bubbles ready. I'm just going to put them around my wrist so they're ready to go. And then what I'm going to do is just take quite a big chunk completely in front of your ear like so tuck the rest behind your ear and then just brush it through so there's no like big knobs or anything like that and then you're just going to plait this all the way down so just separate it into three sections like so i can't french or dutch braid so you won't see any of those in these videos so don't worry if you can't because i can't either so you're just going to take the three sections and then just plait them all the way down try to plait away from your head just because it shapes the plait a little bit better just doing that all way down this probably would look a little bit better if you could dutch braid and do it higher up your head but you know it's cool we're just gonna keep rolling so we're plaiting all the way down as far as all the hairs will take us and then just secure the end with a little hair bubble it doesn't matter if it doesn't match your color your hair color or if it's bright pink or anything like that just keep tying it just keep tying it until it's nice and secure. That will do. And then we're just going to kind of let that hang there for uno momento. Okay, and then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So just take a big chunk of hair. That's all before the ear, not afterward. What is going on here? That bit can go... Ooh, there we go. Then just brush this bit out with your fingers to make sure it's nice and separated and then do the exact same thing so separate it into three pieces like so and then just begin to plait this away from the head and quite tight as well And then once it's kind of a good distance down, I'm just going to secure that with a little hair elastic, bubble, hair tie, hair circle, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. And then just tie that in place. And then what you're going to do is just kind of brush the back section of your hair back. And then you've got these two like ding, 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 really weird hair braids. And then what you're going to do is just tuck them behind your... Ooh, what am I doing? So get the other bit of hair like that and then tuck it behind your head and then the same on the other side and then you'll find that the hair elastics will kind of meet, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing but they meet like that. So then what I'm going to do, I don't know if you saw that at all, but basically you'll feel both of the hair elastics, just pull them out because you've got both of them in your hands and then you're just going to, can you see it? I don't know. We're just going to tie that in place under your head like so make sure you do lots of ties for this because you want it really secure like that and then it makes like a cute little headband you didn't really have to do anything from the back it might look a little bit weird but from the front cute and then you have this cute little hairband that's getting the hair out of your face and this is hairstyle number one
Okay, so the next hairstyle, you can do whatever parting you want, whatever your natural part is. If you want to do middle parting and zigzag, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to brush my hair back with fingers and then take my hairbrush and just smooth it down. This is going to be a low ponytail to start off with but I do want it quite smooth to the head. You can do it on freshly washed hair as well but for this kind of style I do want it to be quite sleek. Then you just want to brush out the ponytail and then take a hair tie, one that's close to your hair will be better and then just tie it at the nape of your neck like so. Hopefully you can see that. Like that, and then it pull it tight, and then it just brush it out. Then you're gonna need a few bobby pins for this. I don't think I have enough, but hopefully we can make it work. So what you wanna do, if you have one of those big crocodile clips, that would work so much better for this look, but I don't have one, so I'm improvising. But basically what you wanna do is just kind of twist your hair like that, and then attach it to the back of your head, so the middle section. You want to attach it to the back, so then when you let go, you have this kind of like cool, like kind of like updo thing, and this is how I used to wear my hair in school every single day. I know, I know, I don't know why, but it was just my go-to hairstyle, but I actually quite like it. So I'm just going to twist it and then hold that in place and then attempt to do this with bobby pins. Hopefully this works. I'm going to really try and attach this to the head. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try. Okay, and then you're just going to take this little... Oh, it did work with bobby pins. There you go. Improvise. You have like a weird kind of peacock hair. Oh, oh, hello. There we go. And it looks quite cool. I think, do you know what? You look put together, you look sassy, and you're getting Phoebe buffet vibes. I like it. I think it looks really cute, and it just actually just takes two seconds, realistically. If you just have a crocodile clip and a hair tie, just tie your hair up, boom. And this is hairstyle number two. So hairstyle number three is just an alteration on a low ponytail. I think it looks really classy. So all you want to do, again, if you have any parting, I think a middle parting would look really good with this, but I can't be bothered to put it in middle parting just yet. But what I'm going to do is just take my two fingers, kind of like about two and three on a clock dial on your head at the back, and then draw downwards. 